guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be sharing some of my favorite beauty and makeup, skincare related travel items specifically for the summertime. And I was inspired to do this video because I just recently went home to California to visit family and I thought it would be kind of fun to share some of the things that I packed when I went home. And also I was inspired to do this because I was actually supposed to go back to California this upcoming weekend for a three day Disney trip. If you follow me on Snapchat then you kind of already know like the deal with that but unfortunately very last minute the trip has been canceled but nonetheless I still thought it would be fun to share some of the things I packed on my last trip home so let's go ahead and jump right in so I have this bag here full of makeup and this is what I used to travel home with I actually got it from it cosmetics it was part of like a Christmas pack from QVC that my grandmother got me but I love it because it's so big and it's long enough to hold my makeup brushes in there too if I want to like stack them in there so this is what I used to hold like my makeup brushes and makeup when I traveled home. And I actually think I'm gonna go ahead and just start off with skincare stuff because I just have like an explosion of products in front of me right now. The first skincare product is this little mini cleanser by Fresh and this is their Soy Face Cleanser. So that is what the cleanser looks like. You can see it is for all skin types. It's rich in amino acids and gently cleanses the face and eyes. I've mentioned before on my channel that I'm not necessarily the biggest fan in the world of this particular cleanser, but that's only really because of the scent. If you've ever gone through a full-size version of this cleanser, I hope you kind of know what I mean. It's a very potent rose scent, and to be honest, it can get a little bit nauseating if you've already like used it a number of times. But for travel, I love it because it's super gentle, it cleanses my skin, it doesn't make my skin feel tight or dry or anything like that, and it doesn't break me out either. So for that reason, I love it for travel purposes. For nighttime moisturizer, I have been using this little mini guy by Bellatora. This is their Cellular Renewal Cream. And I got this in my Barney's Beauty gift bag. And what I just love about this cream is that Although it is more like rich and dense, it doesn't feel really greasy on my face. So I do like a richer moisturizer at night. Even with oily skin, I like packing on the moisture at nighttime. Um, so this one I have been really loving. It doesn't break me out. It doesn't have like a crazy strong fragrance or anything like that. It's just a very like comforting cream for my skin. Another thing I brought with me was this little exfoliator and it is by Dr. Brandt. And I really do like the microdermabrasion scrub from Dr. Brandt because I find that it's a lot more gentle on my skin. It's not a really harsh, coarse exfoliator on my face. It's gentle enough to not irritate my skin, but effective enough to actually exfoliate the areas that I need to exfoliate. So love that guy. For makeup remover, I brought this Garnier Skin Active Micellar Cleansing Water. And it is the blue version, so it is the type that removes waterproof makeup as well. And I didn't bring the full bottle of this. It's halfway down here because I did put it in like a little travel bottle, but I love packing this with just some cotton pads just to remove my makeup at night. And it does remove my eye makeup as well. So next thing is related to body care and it is the Pacifica Underarm Deodorant Wipes. They are odor neutralizing with coconut milk and essential oils. This is perfect if you are running around all day or you're hiking or sightseeing or going to a theme park because you get really sweaty and gross and let's face it sometimes our underarm deodorant does not always do the trick and I don't like applying deodorant like layer on layer on layer because I feel like you're just applying deodorant on BO and that's not gonna work. Something like this is awesome because it wipes all of like the sweat away and any BO away and it also adds a little bit of protection to that area too. So I really like these. They're super refreshing on the skin. And even though the scent is a little bit strong, when you smell it out of the pack, I actually really love the smell. It's not something that like lingers on your body all day long. It probably goes away, I wanna say within like 10 to 15 minutes, you really don't smell it anymore. So love that guy too. Okay, so as for the makeup that I packed, first one is this one by Milani. It is the Conceal and Perfect 2-in-1 Foundation and concealer, and mine is in the shade 04 Medium Beige. This is the only foundation that I packed when I went home because it's kind of like a no-brainer foundation for me. It makes my skin look amazing. It's very high coverage. I don't have to worry about constantly retouching it up throughout the day. And when I applied this in the morning, it literally lasted me all the way through the night. Like I had to touch up with powder and things like that, but it's a really great full coverage, long lasting foundation. For primer, I brought this guy. It is the Rimmel London Fix and Perfect Pro Primer 
in 002. This is a little bit more of a lightweight primer, which isn't my favorite, but I like how tacky this one is. And you can't really tell on camera, but it's a little bit of like a sticky feeling on the face, which is really good for like holding my foundation on throughout the day. So this one's really nice. Plus it's non-greasy, which is also good for summer. For daily SPF, I brought this guy by Honest Beauty. It is their Honest Beauty Beyond Protected Oil-Free Daily Beauty Fluid with SPF 30. To be honest, I'm not all that crazy about this and it kind of kills me because I love the packaging. I know how cheesy is that. The packaging sometimes makes you want to love something more, but it's not necessarily the moisturizer that I dislike. It's the packaging that it comes in, like the bottle. So the way that you use this is you're supposed to shake it up, of course, right? So I don't know if you can tell, but see how it's like spraying out a ton of like water or oil? And this isn't something I've owned for like a year, you know, so it's not like gone bad, but do you see how it's dripping everywhere? Kind of gross, right? So I am really, really not a fan of this bottle because I feel like the bottle prevents the product from like properly mixing. But it isn't coming out like a big greasy mess. It is actually a good like day moisturizer because it's non-greasy. It dries really quickly on my skin, which I also really appreciate about this. But yeah, it's just the bottle that kind of annoys me. So it is what I used as a daily SPF nonetheless. For blush, I mentioned how this was the only one that I brought home in my last favorites video. It is the Lorac Buildable Blush Matte Technicolor Blush. And this is a beautiful like matte peachy coral shade. I love it, it's super soft. This is the only thing again that I did bring home with me and it just went with everything. Plus it has a little bit of like a summer peachy tone to it, which I love. For contouring and highlighting, this is the only thing that I brought and it is this little e.l.f. palette. So it is their contour palette. And there's this really pretty like chocolatey golden bronze shade. There's a darker contour shade this little like yellow tinted powder, which I use to set my under eyes and like any areas to highlight. And then there's this like white highlighter shade too, but to be honest, I don't really reach for this one because it's a little bit dull. Um, but these three shades I love. So these are the only shades I brought to contour and highlight on the trip. For like a bling bling highlighter, I brought this guy. It is a little mini version of the Laura Geller Gilded Honey which is beyond gorgeous. It looks like that. Look how cute it is. It's so cute. It just looks like a little pot of gold. Oh my God, can we take a moment? It is so friggin' pretty. So yeah, this was my everyday highlighter. It also makes for a really beautiful lid color too. So really gorgeous and super, super pigmented. For setting powder, the only one I brought with me is this one by Laura Geller and it is the Balance and Brighten Foundation Regular Shade. I love this because it has the coverage that I like without feeling really buttery and heavy on the skin. And I'm not sure if a swatch is even really gonna show up, but basically it provides a good amount of coverage without being really heavy on my face. So I don't feel self-conscious when I was wearing it out in the daytime or anything like that, especially when you're using like a higher coverage foundation. I like having something like this that adds a little bit of that coverage, but doesn't um, cake up on the face. And I would classify this as more of like a medium coverage powder. So it's not necessarily high coverage to my standards, but um, again, that's kind of why I like the combination of these two together. So some of these I'm just going to run through really quickly. This is the Maybelline Master Conceal Concealer in Light Medium, longtime favorite of mine. Also the Anastasia Brow Wiz in Soft Brown, Anastasia Brow Gel. For mascara, the only one I brought is this little mini guy by Giorgio Armani. It is their Eyes to Kill, and I love this. It is such a good mascara. It really like volumizes my lashes and just builds them up so easily. It takes like two coats to get this guy to really show up well on the lashes. So really enjoyed that, and that's just a little mini travel version. For eye makeup, I only brought one palette, and it is the OG Naked Urban Decay palette. We all know what this looks like. This is just like the perfect travel palette for me. It has my shimmers, my mattes, 
Um, the only thing it doesn't have is like a white matte shade, which I usually bring my Wet n Wild like little mini palette, the one that has the ivory shade. They also sell that one in a single, um, but I brought that as well on the trip for like a matte white shade for my brow bone or lid. But as for everything else, it was just this palette. And of course, I could not leave without these. It is the Clean and Clear Oil Absorbing Sheets. I have one in my travel makeup bag. I have one in my purse. I have one in my car. I have one everywhere. I love these guys. I know that CVS makes their own version of this too, but I find that this one just... Um, absorbs a lot more oil than the CVS ones. Like the CVS ones, I have to use a couple to kind of suck up all the oil on my face. With this guy, I usually only have to use one, so I always travel with those. For lip products, I'm just gonna run through these quickly. The only warm nude shade I brought was this one by MAC, and it is in the shade Faux. This is just a longtime favorite of mine, and it looks like that. It's just like a warm, nudey, mauve brown shade goes with anything type of shade. And then for lip liner, I brought this guy by NYX and it is in the shade Natural. It's just another warm pinky brown. I also brought this, which I mentioned before on my channel. It is the PBJ Smoothie Stick Creamy Lip Crayon. I got this in a birch box. And I'm not really sure what the shade name is, but it's just a beautiful kind of light, vibrant berry shade. Like, it's a very low-key, vibrant shade, you know what I mean? And it's very easy to wear. It wears down really naturally on the lips, and it's not um, drying either. Okay, so just to wrap up the last few little things, the fragrance that I packed with me is this one by Bredo, and it's in the scent Mojave Ghost. And I do own the full-size version of this perfume, and I love it. I don't really wear perfume in the daytime, especially something like this, because it is a little bit more heavy, but for the nighttime, I love it. And then for nails, of course, I packed Essie's Romper Room, which is my new all-time favorite nail polish. And for a top coat, I brought this little guy by Sesh Feet. Sesh Feet is definitely my all-time favorite top coat, so I brought this little mini version of it with me rather than the full size because the full size is a little bit pricey, and to lose that on a trip, it just would suck, especially since I feel like the full size version is always sold out. So I like that they offer this little mini guy just for travel purposes, and I did get this from Sally's. Okay, guys, so that pretty much wraps it up for some of my favorite travel beauty products. If there's anything that you'd like to recommend let me know down in the comments below i always love hearing your guys's recommendations and if you did like this video please be sure to hit the thumbs up button it would mean so much to me and of course if you're new to my channel definitely don't forget to subscribe otherwise thank you guys so much for watching and i will see you next time bye